Next thing we want to do is feed the bottom flap through to the back with the J moulding on. So the way to do that is just tuck it through so it goes through, hold it with one hand, lift the seat completely, grab the J moulding underneath with your other hand and then turn the whole seat right over. Careful not to drag the, your new cover on your bench. This J moulding has to be pulled round and clipped onto this back metal edge. A little bit hard to pull. Pull it in the centre first, keep hold of your hand on one end and get the edge started from one end. And the rest should feed on lovely. Where your Velcro is, bring the back over to the front. A reasonable tug, don't go too mad or else you'll distort it all. Nice tug. Roughly, so it's central both sides. Keep the pressure on it. As you look along it, try and keep this line nice and straight and it'll look nice. And that's the cover in place. Right, we're going to put the handles back on the seat now. I find the best way to do this, so you, you won't go far wrong, small hammer, just gently tap round. And you'll see it marking the material. Don't hit it too hard and it will gradually come through. When you get to that stage you can carry on tapping it which will take a little while or you can get a pair of scissors and just carefully ease it under the cut edge and then just follow the mark that you've made. Just push your material down that's a nice seal around the handle. Get the correct handle back on. Line it up. Click it into place. The bottom one, that just sits on top there. Again, line it up and hit it on. Seat on. We need to get the back flap through first and then push the whole cover back. We get this back flap and we feed this through here, the back, and then just make sure it's central. Tap them, the whole thing back. Now, what we're going to aim to achieve is get this foam so that this frame sits in the recess like so. So we need to do the back one first. So tilt him back up, a little bit awkward turn him sideways you need to be able to get the back J moulding here grab the J moulding that's poking through the back in the centre not the edges because you can start ripping it in the centre and tap the front of the seat so it comes back now we want to tilt the whole seat over this J moulding has to go back onto this edge here it's quite hard to do and it needs a good pull. Don't pull it on the edge. Keep pulling it in the middle till you've got enough to go round. Then you can start feeding it from one edge and feed it on. That's the J moulding in place. This J moulding has to go back on these wires and it's not the first one, it has to go on the second one. Make sure your foam's in place and this is a little bit awkward to those that are not used to it. Don't pull too much on the J moulding, you have to ease the cover around from the front. Just take your time, get your fingers under the J moulding like so, and start that on one edge, and it should all ping into place then. That's it, that's the front piece on. Right, we're doing the radius part now. These you don't want to pull these at all because there's not much holding onto the material. So you've got to be a little bit careful there. So squeeze the foam down. Ease all the cover over as you go. A little bit at a time. A little bit fiddly as well. Get your J moulding under there again. Just pull that back with your finger. Over the wire on one. Same again on this one. That's in place. And the same on this one. You'll notice I'm squeezing the foam down here to give me a little bit 
of play there because we don't want to pull that too hard. And again, clip it round. That's the front done. Put the side J moulding on. Again, a little bit fiddly, but take your time and you'll get there. So squeeze the side of the cushion down. Tuck it through so it goes through. Get your fingers. I'll just show there. We're going to hook that back like that. Just get it on the wire. So you're doing that underneath. Okay, so squeeze it through. Onto the wire. All the way along. And that's the side in place. The last thing to do on the seat base cover now is with the old trim clips that would be retained off the old covers when you strip the old ones down, we just want to put this little flap back. So all we do is just gently pull that on the flap there, get your trim clip in place, hammer, just gently tap him on, that's one on. We'll turn him over and do the other side. Tap him on. That's it. That's the seat cover in place now. Last thing to do is fit the headrest back on the seat. Now I find the easiest way to do this is lift your seat onto the floor. If you press the material down, you can see where the spindle is. Your pair of scissors go to the center of the spindle and just make a nice hole. Give it several turns just to make the hole and the same the other side. Two in the centre, wiggle them down. And what I do is just guide it in with both hands there. That's in place. Hit it and it's down located in place. And that's your seat finished. Now a retrim on your disco is well worth investment because they're quite an old tired vehicle now. They've been around for sort of 15 years and everything's worn out. So what we did is we followed the fitting guide and we've actually fitted a set of retrim seats um, ourselves. On the driver's side we've actually got the new foam base and also a new diaphragm and that's really transformed the ride. And we're really pleased with the finish. We've gone for this Land Rover brown logo uh, centrepiece with the black uh, leatherette on the outside and we've uh, just matched the, the brown on the, uh, on the trim of the seats with the stitching and it's really finished it off nicely. We're really pleased. So um, all in all I'd say it's a good bit of kit.